Hello, my name is Megan Racy, and I'm a recent PhD graduate at the University of Guelph in the Department of Human Health and Nutritional Sciences. As I just graduated a few months ago, I'm currently looking for jobs and careers where I can use my skills as a researcher to effectively communicate research information and results to the appropriate stakeholders. My PhD research focused on investigating why 60 to 80 percent of adolescents, that's those aged 10 to 16 years old, are not consuming enough dairy products and alternatives in Canada. And we did this through two main research questions. First, we looked at how do adolescents like to learn about health information and what sources are they going to to get this type of information. We also wanted to investigate new tools and methods to teach adolescents about health information and collectively see if these were more effective at increasing their knowledge regarding dairy products and alternatives and subsequently also increasing their consumption of dairy products and alternatives. So through my research we found out a few key important findings about adolescents. First, not surprisingly, they like to learn in fun and engaging ways. So this can include using things like websites and interactive games to teach adolescents about health information and foods for health. They also told us that there are a variety of factors that are influencing why they're consuming the foods that they are. So what they think they know or what they actually know may ultimately impact what these adolescents are eating. My work relates to how you can effectively teach and engage children and educate them in eating foods that are good for their health. So while there's a lot of factors that may influence why adolescents eat what they do, such as having dairy products available in the house or not, there are other ways that you can increase their knowledge and hopefully get them to encourage dairy consumption and ask for dairy products in their home. So including things like fun and engaging games and making the teaching and learning activities more interactive can ultimately help encourage and promote good healthy habits for adolescents. So now that my work and my research is complete, and much of our results have been published, we'd like to now talk to people like the Dairy Farmers of Ontario and the Dairy Farmers of Canada, who can use some of our fun, engaging games and interactive activities to encourage adolescents to visit their website and play these games to learn more about dairy products and alternatives. As well, we learned about a variety of factors that may be influencing their dairy product intake, and some of these factors can be addressed through marketing and media campaigns and other communication materials. The overall takeaway message from my PhD is that there's a variety of factors influencing how adolescents learn about health information and different factors that are influencing their intake of these foods as well. So it's really important to communicate the health benefits of dairy products and alternatives, but also to communicate and clear up any misconceptions adolescents may have. As well, we learned that adolescents like to learn in fun and engaging ways, so we need to be mindful of how we're communicating information to adolescents to give them some more hands-on activities and fun ways to learn about health information. At the end of the day, we learned a lot during my PhD, including why kids and youth at home may not be consuming enough dairy products and alternatives. There's a variety of factors influencing their food intake, including knowing the health benefits of dairy products and alternatives, as well as maybe clearing up some misconceptions these youth and kids may have. We need to be mindful of how we're communicating that type of information to the adolescents. So this includes things like fun and engaging website games and activities, and hands-on learning and educational sessions that really engage the students and the kids at home. Using these types of techniques, we can create lasting behavior changes that include the consumption and increase of dairy products and alternatives. Thanks for watching.